Hello everyone, this is Daniel, and, um, okay, so, what if I told you that, um, you may just actually get a hell? Okay, so this is a touchy subject, so, um, let me tell you how you, um, have a chance of going to hell. Now, for one thing, if you haven't accepted Jesus as your uh, state Lord and Savior, and as if God that was um, risen on the third day from his Father, he is your Lord, and he is your Savior, and he came in the flesh as he ris rose, from the day from a, rose on the third day from his Father, but he came out in the world as in his flesh. Okay. So if you don't know that, basically you have to, um know that. It's like I told you, so you're not going to hell from through that. But have you repented? If not, then you're probably going to hell. You're probably going to hell. And, um, I know I have a, I have a serious issue with certain things, but I'm in very high risk of going to hell, too. So know this, too. And even that, even if Jerusalem is the capital of, uh, capital of um, Israel, you have to repent immediately. Because the world might just end and you might get stuck in a situation where you'd rather not be. It took me 10 years or a little less to get out of a certain situation of hell. Even now, I might be going to hell because I did not do the right things, or I did not do what God asked me to do, or I did not repent, or anything like that. Okay. Jesus talks about hell more than heaven, and that is the truth. And he's trying to get at a point. Now, let's go to the second fact. Who would be more likely to go to hell? Yes, the cold person, yes. The person who is worldly. But did you know that a Christian is close to as likely to go to hell as a cold person? Yeah. That's not good, is it? So let me tell you something that is um, kind of disturbing. You know, just for, I don't know, being a, uh, being a um, oh, how do you say it? A worker of evil instead of a worker of good doing evil works that is going to put you to hell and um, then if you do good works then what is good works? preaching preaching enough tithing maybe donating going to church enough if you go to a church good church good church if your church is bad and you don't know about it, God will give you um, a chance, even in that bad church. But since you know about the fact that your church is bad and you still go to it, he's not going to give you a chance. And also, um, if you know of miracles in that church, just also know of the how the people behave in that church. Some evangelical churches are actually good. It's very rare that a Catholic church is good. Um, Protestant, maybe some of them. Then there is a um, chance that a Pentecostal church is good. But those are scary anyway because they shy away from getting the best out of God. Let me tell you something. If you're proud, that may be a term of corruption and a term of lying. Pride is a lie. Pride is a lie. And if you're saying that you're rich, you are actually poor. If you say that you're rich in the spirit, you're actually poor. I don't know if I what my riches are in the spirit are, but I can't tell. I can't tell. 
Maybe I am poor. I was poor before. When I thought I was rich, I was poor. You know? But also, it does say in um, the Church of... Oh, man. Not Philadelphia, because that was a good church. I think it was... Like, not Laodicea. Maybe it was Laodicea. I don't... Yeah, Laodicea, yeah. The church that is lukewarm. That church that is lukewarm got spat out by God. They were poor, miserable, naked. And they were everything bad. And, you know... They got spat out, thrown to hell, because they didn't make up their mind. It was like they didn't make up their mind because they say, oh, we're perfect. That's pride. That's a Pharisee church. So, um, also, anyone that is actually thinking, oh, they're rich in spirit, they're actually poor and naked. So basically, yeah, believe that God is the one that is going to save you, but also do what God commands you to do, which I'm barely doing these days. And I was almost always barely doing too. And he's trying to talk to me because he loves me. He loves everyone equally, but those who are following him especially. He loves, those are his favorite people. You know? Maybe he's just, oh, it's a good feeling too. All right, that was a good feeling because heaven is in my gut, I guess, you know. But even if I fail, you will still succeed. Amen. So, if you succeed because of this video, and you say, oh snap, I think I'm proud. I think I'm lukewarm. If anyone says, so, um, so if anyone says they are lukewarm, um, you know, say it on the channel. Because, Anyone that is bashing others because they think they're better than others. Tell, tell me that you're lukewarm. Because time is almost up, guys. Time is almost up. And we have very little time left. This is not from me seeing God. This is from me knowing that this time is almost up. Very little things, like sleeping too much, can cause you to go to hell. And I know that for a fact. Alright, I'll be done now, okay? Bye!